Hello guys and welcome back to this uh, next episode of uh, Mobilize series. Now, uh, uh, on Wikitube here, Wikitube Mobilize series, we really do some good stories about uh, Mobilize tricks and how to develop websites on Mobilize. Mobilize is actually a web developer, but it's a drag and drop, so you don't need to code on it. It's a system, it's a software. You can uh, just download it for free and do a drag and drop deals and compile them together and develop uh, a website very fast without coding and deploy it on the web. So today we're going to be look at uh, how to uh, probably look at how to download the mobilize uh, of uh, old version uh, that's uh, 4.1 to uh, 0.4. So I'm going to be showing you how to download the old version of mobilize 4.1 to 0.4. And after download it, I'm also going to uh, show you how to install it on the computer and after that I will show you how to use it uh, and probably uh, if you're very familiar with Mobilize or you're already using the current version of Mobilize I will also show you how to use Mobilize uh, 4.1 2.4 uh, if at all even if you have the current one I will show you the need or the useful uh, part in it in uh, your uh, you know project building or even uh, deploying to the web so let's go ahead and dive into this and uh, number one you just open your browser my browser is uh, uh, this uh, internet uh, Microsoft uh, browser so you're gonna uh, go ahead and type your search in any browser you have search for mobilize 4.12.4 a free download So uh, right away you will uh, have the first link as the Mobilize free website builder version that's history of the old version of Mobilize. So you click on it, uh, it will take you to the, uh, uh, the archived versions or the outdated versions of Mobilize. Uh, don't worry if you just need this version, just download it. I will also show you how to use it in any case you have the latest version. It has some importance in the latest version deployment and I will be unveiling it probably uh, at the end of the video so ensure to watch the video till the end probably you'll be getting it as a bonus so go ahead and click on uh, the download button for windows this time i'm downloading for windows next time i will be doing it for mac if you have a mac you can go for this version but uh, uh we're doing with windows this time so we're gonna be downloading for windows so you click on the download button and the download will start automatically sometimes it can take a little bit of uh, uh, time to finally start downloading but uh, uh, for sure when it start down starts downloading uh, you will see that uh, the uh, the file is being downloaded in your browser okay I think finally it has started you can see mobile is for setup.exe uh, being downloaded so uh, very fast enough it will be uh, done and we shall go ahead to install it okay once it's done downloading uh, okay so you're gonna go ahead and see uh, mobilize.exe it's done so you can open the file so you click on open the file uh, it will open do you want to run this file yes of course we want to run give it permission to run and it will start its process uh, of installing the software on the computer do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device of course yes click on yes and that will go on to start off with the installation okay now we have to choose the destination but by default it's uh, actually going, going to be creating its own folder which is called mobilize for uh, on your local drive C so let's go by the default uh, uh, of course location just press next it will start installing you can see the setup is now installing files so in a few minutes it's just done and once it's done uh, it's going to be launched and finally you have mobilize 4.12.4 uh, version being uh, installed on your computer so uh, after that 
maybe one thing that I'm gonna be giving you as a bonus in this tutorial uh, if you want to use two versions of Mobilize on the same computer probably you want the latest version of Mobilize and uh, some old version of Mobilize you can uh, it's actually possible to install both on the computer uh, all you have to do is first uh, install the new version or if you have the old version first you have to first uninstall the old version so ideally you have to first have the new version installed on the computer just like I have here I have the latest version of Mobilize then later on after installing the new version you can go ahead and uh, download the old version and install it on the computer and you will have uh, two mobilized versions on the computer uh, for example I have now two this is um uh, now we have here mobilized 4.1 4.1 and uh, I can also open another uh, version which is actually the current new version okay it's opening okay now you can see this is mobilized version 5.6.8 which is actually the latest version and also uh, the old version 4.12 so I have kind of have two versions on the same computer and they are running and I'm gonna be use, showing you what I use uh, the old version for um, because it's actually very very important so that said that came as a bonus so I can also give you another bonus if you want okay so another thing that you have to note uh, for mobilize 5.6.8 version which is actually the current version whenever it's compiling the software for I mean the website that you've just developed uh, for people who are using the uh, the free version uh, probably the free and not paid version whenever you compile your software and you want to upload it or to publish it anywhere it normally comes with a sort of a copyright or you can call it um, a sort of a, a disclaimer on the bottom that this site was made by Mobilize, and most of the people don't like that, and they would they would want their site not being uh, labeled that it was made by Mobilize. So, uh, to remove that, or to get rid of that, or to dodge that, you first develop your website in, in the current version, which is 5.6.8, and after developing your website, and it's done. That's what uh, that's why I was telling you that it's better to have some old version of Mobilize and then the new version. So if I told you working with the new version, now this is the new version. Take an example. I've created my project. I'm gonna be creating a project here, and you will see once it is publishing, there is some kind of disclaimer that comes around uh, that tells you that uh, this site was made by Mobilize, and some people don't like that. And if I, if you want to get rid of that. Uh, kindly go ahead and do your old stuff in Mobilize, develop your website, compile it, and once it's done very well, before publishing it, you download the old version, which is Mobilize 4.1.2.4, uh, and after downloading it, uh, you go ahead and uh, open it, and now uh, you can import the same project that you've done in that new in the new Mobilize, or you open uh, that project that you did in the new Mobilize, you open it in the old Mobilize, which is Mobilize 4. And once you do that, uh, because the old version of Mobilize 4 does not have or it never had that disclaimer on the bottom that this site was made by Mobilize, it never had that. So after developing your site in Mobilize 5.6.8, so you go ahead and publish it in Mobilize 4. So which is actually kind of uh, the, uh, the old version and doesn't have all that nitty gritty uh, details. So if you go ahead and publish this, I think I should show you. Let me first show you what I'm really talking about. Once you publish this site here, now we are publishing the site. Let's first view the site uh, in our browser. Ignore the errors and just publish. List. And you scroll at the bottom. This is it. You will find that you have this disclaimer made with Mobilize Free Web App Page Maker. So to avoid this, or to have this, or to have your website and uh, not having this logo, you either uh, pay the pro version, or if you are in the free version and you want to avoid this, uh, you make your website using the current version of Mobilize, which is Mobilize Five 
which is okay then publish your uh, uh, of course your uh, project in the mobilize for version and by that you will be perfect and good to go now you see this is the site that I've just created in the mobilize in the new mobilize you can see here this is the template this is the website that I've just created right now finance trading company so after creating that you come in on mobilize for you will find that the, the, the same project has already been a cloned in that I've forgotten something maybe now before doing this if you have the two versions of mobilize the latest and the old one you have to make sure you're signed in in the same account in the same account so make sure that the account here is actually the same so after that you can now open your site that you developed in uh, in uh, the uh, the new mobilize you can open it in uh, in the old mobilize and once it opens then you go ahead and publish it uh, using your uh, of course uh, old mobilize version so once you do that you will have uh, gotten rid of that um, you know disclaimer that normally comes at the bottom uh, first close it you can just close it and then you open it again <coughs> 